All right, so why are you all stressed out? What's up? Queen of Pentacles. Y'all have feelings for somebody. If somebody has feelings for you, you guys are in love with somebody or somebody has some feelings. You caught feels, right? Something happened with y'all caught your feels. Not a bad thing though. I feel like maybe there was some period that you may be doubting if they felt the same way or whatever. But the situation now is with the Knight of Wands, okay? I don't think it's unreliability or somebody in your life could be showing that they're unreliable. It's more so of like, you know, going with what you feel, going about it in the in the moment, just going by what you feel. You know, no living wrong with that. And I feel like this is truly like taking t t taking matters into your own hands with the Knight of Wands. Travel, experiencing something new. Y'all are making some big ass changes because the heart of your reading is the three of cups, which has to do with the friend zone. You know, perhaps it's somebody that's you a great friends, chilling out, having a good time. You know, I mean, this could be a reconnection with someone from the past, but we don't have any new past cards in here. So I can't really say, but what I do can, I can say is this is about reconnection. This, well, this is about connecting with people, connecting with others, friends, family, celebration, but was crossing it, right? That's the challenge rate. So friend zone. What was crossing you is the emperor. I don't know if it's not taking action or being too stubborn, being too masculine, maybe aggressive, maybe being aggro. Because the situation is showing that you guys are taking control all over the damn place. The thing is, is I think you may be ex asserting yourself, right? Nothing wrong with that, but the situation right now, because some of you is going retrograde in your ninth and eighth house, you may want to relax a little bit. I feel like you've made it very clear that you've had feelings for somebody. Um, or something that is being exerted, some sort of control or power is being exerted right now. And it may not necessarily need to be that hardcore at the moment. You may be very stubborn about a relationship, perhaps, as well, being pursued any further. I think you may have had this kind of idea of who you wanted it to be in your love life, but that stressed you out if you realized that this person is in your life and they aren't really reliable in the sense that they have, they know, they're just great fun to be around and very passionate, but they're not capable of being any more than that. Just great fun. But I feel like with the Emperor coming up, there's somebody around you right now that's just like, you know, I don't necessarily think I can trust you. Not in a bad way, but you just, you know, I feel like Pisces that you feel like this person is, you know, maybe just be, they're either just good as partners or you want perhaps more and you made it known. You're taking control but the situation. Maybe he's asking you to take a chill pill for a second. Hold on a moment. Don't necessarily jump the gun quite yet. Now in the past, you have the Six of Swords. That's about travel, moving on, moving from one place to the next. You know what I mean? I feel like y'all have been traveling for sure, but you've let something go. You've moved on from some sort of situation. You've let it go. It's in, it's in the past now because now you like, you know what? Coming out of that situation with the, you know, with, you know, with moving on, moving forward, you've got the, you know, the eight of cups now showing what you don't want and you're very clear of what you don't want. That just puts you back in the spot where, you know, you're going to have to find what it is that truly does make you, make you, um, you know, the, well, the, what does make you want, what make you want, excuse me, that does, um, make you happy, that, that is satisfactory, that does satisfy you mostly. Because right now, I mean, like, it could be that you may need to exert control, but your goal and ambition is the high, is the high priestess. You've got three, two confidence cards coming up in here in the high priestess is your goal and ambition. But your future is showing that you are taking control, taking action, but you're doing it based off of your authentic self. You're just being you at all times. Being your raw, energetic self. And you are not doing, you know, there's no consequences. No, it's unapologetic. As you should be. Queen of Wands, though. Someone that's willing to do anything and everything they can to get what they want. Y'all could be dealing with a, an, a, uh, with an Aries right now. There's somebody that's like, yeah, you say like we're just friends, and they're like, yeah, we'll see about that. Or maybe this is you guys. You just know that you don't want this relationship like this anymore. You don't want this relationship to just be friends anymore. You're ready to take it on to the next level. 
You really did see where this actually goes. You got unbelievable amounts of passion towards this individual, perhaps. If the Queen of Wands is coming to be in your future and that Queen of Wands is you guys. Well, this could be somebody in that somebody that's in your life right now that's, you know, that's you that are friends with you. You don't necessarily have a perspective, uh, you know, have a perception or, or perspective or whatever, right? You don't really necessarily have any arguments regarding this individual being more than just a friend, but they're trying hard. So it's like take it. It's like it's almost like saying relax, enjoy the show, you know. Not like this person's a show or anything like that. Please, please give me you know, understand when I say relax and enjoy. I mean like this person's give is after you. And they're making you. They're showing their worth right now. They're showing that they want to. They, they're actually pursuing you. They're not the Knight of Wands. I think this person may be younger than you. Um, more so than anything, right? I think this person may be more younger than you, but they are not going to stop till they get what they want. Now, I think that maybe the thing is that you may not be sure if you just want fun because it's Knight of Wands is coming to your heart, the underlying energy. So it could be like this is a fling, a night, someone that spends the night, someone that's, you know, quick and snazz, you know, someone that's, you know, very passionate in the moment, but don't really want to settle down. Someone is hardcore pursuing you. The queen of the high priestess is like, mm -mm. let's see what happens. Let's, ob ob let's observe. Your goal is like to receive it, like just just to eat it up. And your advice is saying, you just be that, be that way. Just just be in the moment. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about doing too much. Don't worry about going out of your way. Just you know, I mean, of course, communicate. I feel like. If this person's stalking you or doing something inappropriate and you don't want to do it, I would say this, you know, not as a cut off communication. Well, I guess you could cut off communication with the high priestess there, but more of just like, don't give them too much of your information. Hey, my her, this person could be crazy, but we don't know, right? Because there's no, there's no cards indicating that this person's crazy. What I do see though, that this, maybe you're like, you know, observe, watch this person, be very open about how they are so you can assess and figure out if this is something you really want to pursue, this is something that you want, yada, yada, yada. You know what you don't want. And I don't know if this is the, the what you don't want is someone that's super aggressive that gets on your damn nerves, but maybe you want someone that actually pursues you. Maybe that's the thing that you do want. But right now it's about observation to see exactly what it is that you want, tweak it, whatever you want. But don't be too, don't have, you don't have to act. Because the emperor is crossing, which is like to me, emperor crossing, and then the the high priestess in your goal ambition. It's like you might want to just hold off on your actions at the moment. You feel more confident about what you're going after once you get a bit of a, a better idea of what's there. When you connect with the person, when you kind of get the understanding of them, listening into them mostly and seeing how they react, answering, good, asking good questions, going all about that thing. Because you're going to be gaining some information about this person that will help you figure out whether or not this is something you want to deal with or not. Now your goal, your external energy is the nine of pentacles. Like I feel like you are con you're confident about where you are. You're not necessarily, up, you know, it doesn't tear you down because you don't necessarily, you know, it doesn't tear you down because you don't want something. It actually empowers you. And I like that. I like that the nine of pentacles is coming up for you. Like it's an empowering thing. I don't see how you not knowing uh, you're not you know getting what you want and this you know, feeling emotionally done with the situation how it's keeping you in a kill the cage and I don't see that, but I feel like this is your opportunity to absorb from a very comfortable position, knowing that you are confident that you are walking away from something, but no so don't be so don't be so confident or overconfident that you end up talking or doing too much that will keep you from getting information to help you make the best decision for yourself. This is fun. This guy, this person is passionate, male or female, it don't matter. But there's some things you might want to look at this person about because they may obviously show you something. And I think then that is when you have your epiphany, something may change, or you go ahead and decide to strike with the tower in the outcome. No hesitation whatsoever. You just, you know what it is that you're going after. You know what it is that you're going for. It's like that. It changes the foundation, but you you know it's a start. It's a new start. You start fresh after this, and something may happen unexpectedly. We don't know what may come. Let's go ahead and take a look at your wisdom of the oracle. 
thinker. What did I say? I mean, it's very, it's not necessarily the observer, but the thinker is pretty similar when it says to just kind of slow your roll, think about things, really analyze, really, cons you know, digest the information somebody's giving you. Because that's what the high priestess does. She, that's why she's to keep a secret. She's let the secrets, the scrolls, the information she's gained consciously or subconsciously to be digested. And does, this is about digesting this, the digesting information. Yes. Think about things. See how they've been interpreted. You don't have to do too much with this person because they're going to be showing you everything that you need. Now, for some of you guys, it could be also asking you guys not to be so passive. Don't think, or don't overthink, you know, and it may be time for you to take action because the tower ain't gonna come in the eight of cups, but you know, don't be so, you know, aggressive maybe, but most importantly though, like if this is like the opposite message for some of y'all, maybe you, maybe you do probably want to make some sort of movement somewhere. You know, take some action. Now you guys have respect your boundaries. Wow. That's 33 in the card here is 44. That's no coincidence that you're getting double numbers. And I'll just show you if you can see 33, 44. This is, hey man, magic happens in threes, but the situation is you got double numbers. You may be having, this might be a twin flame connection. I have no idea per se, because you didn't get any typical, you know, karmic cards that would say this, but the situation is to respect your boundaries. You know, nine of pentacles, big thing to look at because she is in a comfort zone. This is her new boundaries, her fortress. You may not like something or how someone does something. You may just want to see, you know, you, you may want to take action. You may want to say, hell no. You may just end up, you know, you may not be doing anything because, and based off of how someone's been treating you. There could be somebody that's taking action and violating your your belief systems, your, your space, your boundaries. And you may have to be open about it. Take action and say something about it. Now, this is respecting your boundaries as well. This also talks about respecting everybody else's boundaries. Allow someone to show their true authentic selves. You don't have to go out of your way to do it. And you don't have to definitely go outside of your comfort zone, go outside of your boundaries or your belief systems to make sure and to show someone that you're interested to do any extra stuff. Okay. I feel like this message is a big think before you act sort of thing, but most importantly, observe, you know, think and, you know, yeah, mostly, mostly think before you act because you may not need to do much, you know? It may not, it may not, it may not be required at this time to take action. Venus going retrograde, it may not be required right now. Venus is going retrograde in a house that trying to Pisces. You may not need to do much. That's okay. If you, of course, right? This is a tarot reading. You still want to do something about it? Do it. Because I don't want to be the person that keeps you from doing something that you feel that you're mostly led to do. Follow your intuition. The high Priestess, more so than anything than being passive, is following your intuition. Follow your instincts. You know, don't react. Feel it out. Well, don't just act. React, right? By feeling your emotions. Trusting your gut. Trust your gut. That's mostly the thing. Don't just react. Just trust your gut. 